In the intro video, we see a 20 second clip running seamlessly. Here's how I did it. In the workflow, I added a last frame node. You grab the last frame by right clicking it and selecting copy clip space. Then on the load image first node, right click and paste clip space. This lets you extend your video to any length you want. But what about the seamless stitch? Well, that's a different trick, handled in an external video workflow. I bring the video into DaVinci Resolve, where I arrange the clips and adjust the speed and timing. For the seamless stitch, here's the trick. On the edge of each clip, I pull back a few frames on both sides. This is necessary for the smooth cut effect to work properly. Then, I drag the smooth cut transition onto the clip edges and blend the two clips together. This creates a clean, continuous video without any noticeable jump or glitch.